What's up guys, Andre here, and I'm going to answer your questions about Splatoon. Now you sent in a ton of them, like over 2,000, so I don't have time to answer all of them. But I picked out some of the best ones and most common ones, I'm going to answer as many as I can right now. And I apologize in advance if I sound even more stuffed up and annoying than I normally do, but I do have a bit of a cold right now. Alright, well let's get to the questions. First up we have Michael2White who asks, Can you use a right stick for aiming without motion controls? And yes you can. Uh, there's an option in the settings, you can turn off motion controls, at which point you can use the right stick for aiming entirely. So, there you go. Um, although I prefer uh, using motion controls myself. Um, or rather, a combination of the two. Uh, Hope Powell asks, Do the loading screens have a long load time? No, nope, they're actually pretty quick. I don't have the exact time for you, but it's really only a few seconds, and I don't think it's a concern at all. Uh, Nicholas Burrows asks, Can you answer this question? No. <laughs> Ninja VG asks, what do you think about the game's terrible commercials? Yeah, they're pretty bad. Although I do like how uh, they do say Splatoon at the end, the way they build up to it. I don't know, there's something about that I kind of like. Uh, Mega Epison asks, Was Andre sent all the Splatoon amiibo to go with the game, or at least one of them? So, I haven't been sent them yet, but I will be soon, apparently. So, uh, expect more coverage of them as soon as we get the amiibo in ourselves. Uh, Balrog asks, Are the weapon sets preset or are they customizable? So they are all preset. You cannot customize them at all. So you buy them in sets, you equip, you equip them in sets, you cannot mix or match beyond that point. Um, so you definitely, have, you know, so they've, I, I'm guessing they've all been balanced to some degree, you know, to give you, you know, there's different pros and cons to each of them. So you really do have to think about which role or what setup you want to roll out with. Uh, the Golly Shy Guy asks, what determines the color of your inkling while in the main hub? Uh, so the color of your inkling in the hub is dependent on what you played last. So, uh, if you're playing a uh, level in the single player campaign, you know, uh, because the ink does change level to level, um, once you exit the level and go back to the hub, you'll remain in that level. Same thing with multiplayer, I believe. If you, uh, you know, whichever color you use last in multiplayer is the color you'll be using in the hub. Uh, Tails292 asks, Can more than two players play the game at the same time locally? No, the only mode they can play locally with more than one person is Battle Dojo, and that's only a two-person mode. So, yeah, there's really not much to do multiplayer-wise, um, locally. Uh, JP Mesquita asks, Are you guys, by any chance, going to team up and stream or record a few of your matches? We sure can. In fact, we can start streaming on the 18th. And that's probably when we'll be doing it. So it looks like we can start at, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Time on the 18th. So stay tuned for an announcement coming up soon about that. The Nintendo Nerd asks, Can you choose what your team color is, or is it random? Um, it's totally random, so you cannot choose your color. Uh, it changes depending, you know, with every multiplayer match. Uh, although, there is actually one thing you can kind of choose. So there is an option to lock the colors to a specific set. Um, and that locks it to whichever color you use last. So if there is a particular color you like, you can like it, you can lock it to that, and you'll forever use that color, even a single player. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, he also asks, can you make multiple player characters? And no, you can't. You are locked to one, uh, per user account. Uh, but we'll have more on that uh, pretty soon, actually. I think there's some other questions that relate to that. Uh, Imagine this Huns asks, How long is a single player campaign, and how challenging is it? So, um, I would say it's about six to seven hours, or maybe five to seven hours, somewhere in there. Um, each mission takes about... I mean, it's, some are as quick as like two minutes if you're rushing through. Uh, others will take closer to ten, especially if you're you know, dying a lot. Some will take even longer than that. Um, so yeah, it does vary a fair amount. Uh, but yeah, I would say between five to seven hours probably is what you can expect. Um, as for the challenge level, it's, uh, it, you know, it never gets too bad for me. Um, there were a few missions where I did get a game over effectively. I ran out of, you know, I ran out of all my lives. It only happened a handful of times, though. So, I I'd say it's a good difficulty. It's not too, it's not super challenging, but it's tough enough that you will have to think about what you're doing. Landon the Potato asks, is there any mode in which you can choose the color of your ink? Again, no, um, it's, it changes randomly in multiplayer or... Uh, by the level in single player. Metal Master 5 asks, Can you switch between a boy and a girl, or are you one permanently? So, no, you can switch at any time uh, from the hub. There's an option menu there, you can go customize your inklings, you can change your uh, gender, eye color, and all that stuff. So, yeah, you're not locked in, you can change them whenever you want. Uh, Bryson Bull asks, Are those amiibo the only ones you can use? If not, what other ones? Um, and by those amiibo, he means the, the Splatoon amiibo. So I tried scanning in random amiibo I have, and yeah, none of them worked. And the instruction manual explicitly mentions um, the three Splatoon amiibo as being the only ones. So they could add support down the line for additional um, amiibo, but for right now it only is those three. Poke Persona is wondering, is there fall damage? Uh, no, there is no fall damage at all, so you're good. 
Uh, Kasaki Jig asks, Hi GX, is there a lot of gear pieces in the game? Yeah, there, there's a fair amount. Um, each of the shops uh, sells, um, I, I think, at least a dozen items. Probably even more than that. So, yeah, there's a fair amount to keep you going. Um, and, you know, mixing and matching. Of course, each one unlocks additional abilities, too. So, yeah, there's a fair amount to keep in mind there. A 7339 man asks, Is it easy to find money like in Hyrule Warriors? Uh, so in single player, yeah, I mean, you'll encounter those uh, fish eggs all over the place, so it's not hard to find it. Um, and then for, mul for multiplayer, you earn coins by winning matches. So you don't really find it per se, you earn it. Brendan Lieb asks, What all does that goldfish mo say on Annie's head? Because loser alert isn't much. Um, so basically, she'll, I mean, it'll respond in, uh, in two various situations. Really, the characters in the shops don't talk that much after the initial time you meet them, only when you buy something or can't afford something. So it'll reply, it'll respond in those situations. So like, if you can't afford something, um, it'll say you're wasting her time. So it's, it's kind of neat, but uh, it's a neat little touch. But again, they don't say too much. Um, Troy Harris asks, if you have two of the same ability on your gear, will the effect of that ability stack? So I actually did a specific test on this. Um, I used one of the abilities that uh, reduces the amount of time it takes to super jump somewhere, and it does stack. So each time I added that additional ability, it got shorter and shorter. Next, Mega Chris asks, can you edit match times? Uh, no you can't. It's always locked to uh, whatever it is for that mode. So for turn four, it's always three minutes. Eric Hera asks, have you found any Easter eggs? Uh, yeah we have, and we'll be covering those pretty soon I think. Uh, Eggbert, oh, speaking of eggs actually, Eggbert Levenstone asks, okay here's a question, when you hide an ink on the wall, do you stay in place or do you slowly slide back to the ground? Uh, you slide back to the ground, very, uh, pretty slowly, but you have to stay on top of it. Pcore TV asks, can you use a classic controller or a Wii remote in Battle Dojo? Uh, yeah, so in Battle Dojo, you can use, um, either the Pro Classic, con or, sorry, either the Pro Controller, or either of the Classic Controllers on the Wii, which means you need a Wii re remote as well, of course. Um, you cannot use a Wii remote by itself, though. It needs to be a Classic Controller or a Pro Controller. Uh, Mega Lucaria asks, can you use a gear slash weapons you purchased for the single player mode and the multiplayer modes as well? Um, I've heard that you can use them in Turf Wars and the like, I'm just asking for def definitive confirmation. No, you cannot. Um, the gear you buy or upgrade in single player and multiplayer are completely separate. So, uh, basically, um, you buy gear for multiplayer and you use it for only multiplayer, whereas in the single player mode, you're basically, for the most part, upgrading gear, and that only applies to single player. Um, there are a couple things you can buy, but that, again, is only for single player. So they are completely separate and uh, they use even different currency. So, yeah, you can mix and match. Uh, Muar Alois asks, how many tracks are there in the game? And I'm not sure if you mean maps or music tracks, so I'll answer both. So for multiplayer, there are five maps currently, with more coming as DLC down the line. Um, as far as music tracks, I don't know the exact count, but there isn't a huge amount. You do, you will hear them recycled uh, in a single player campaign between levels. And then the multiplayer seems to choose randomly from one of a handful of tracks. Next, Hunter Wynn asks, are clothing options exclusive to genders? Uh, no, they're not. I mean, you can switch gender at any time, and so the gear works with both of them. Uh, Lewis Samuel asks, what about off-screen TV? What about off-TV? What about off-TV? What about off-TV? <laughs> and so on and so on. So, uh, there is no off-TV play. The only, the closest thing they have is Battle Dojo, where one person plays on the gamepad. Otherwise, um, you do need the gamepad for every mode in the game and it, you know, doesn't, you can't play off TV with it. That Blue Kirby asks, what about weapon stats? Are all the weapons in each category different in stats completely, or are some weapons complete improvements in every stat compared to the base weapon? So I haven't unlocked everything yet, but based on what I can tell, um, it seems like they all are unique. So I don't think there's any weapon that's a complete upgrade from another. So it seems like everything is balanced to some degree, so no weapon will completely dominate another, at least in terms of raw stats. Uh, the Shadow Hunters asks, as we get further into the story mode, does the difficulty increase by a lot to become hard, or does it stay relatively easy like it seems in your other videos? Um, I kind of answered this before, but it does get tougher as you go. Um, it, def it definitely gets tougher. Uh, keep in mind that in a lot of those videos, I've gotten pretty good at the game, and uh, some of them aren't my first time through. A lot of them are, but some of them um, I did go through once before already. So I kind of knew what I was doing. So I wouldn't base the difficulty off those videos too much. Um, the Oman Man 3045 asks, can you play Turf War at night time in the game? I mean, you can play at night in, the, in real time. <laughs> uh, no, the time of day does not change in the maps. It'd be cool if it did, but no, they don't. Uh, Fred Fredberger asks, Can you use full gyro motion, up, down, left, right, and also have the same for the right stick, up, down, left, and right, at the same time? I found myself trying to use a stick to look up and down in the demo, but it wouldn't move at all. 
Uh, no, that's still the case here. So if you have motion controls turned on, up and down does not work on the right stick. Only left and right does. Uh, Marlo F asks, can you tell us more about the gear abilities? Um, I, I guess. I'll probably be making actually a whole video about that soon. I don't know them all off the top of my head. Um, you know, some of them reduce, uh, as I mentioned, the super jump time, like how fast you actually land somewhere else. Others will uh, increase your swimming speed, whereas others increase your ink refill speed. Um, there's a bunch of them, so I'll probably be making a whole video about them very soon. Uh, Alfonso Natura asks, You know how it's a 4 versus 4 turf mat, turf wars or whatever? Is that mode only online, or can it be against computers too offline? It is only online. Um, the only multiplayer mode, again, offline is Battle Dojo. Uh, and then there's a single player mode as well. But everything uh, else is online only. CP Cheats Gang asks, You know how in your Splatoon boss fight videos, you hit the tentacle and then super jump off? Do you automatically super jump off, or do you have to touch a spot on the gamepad? So, uh, that happens automatically. Um, I don't think you can super jump yourself in there. Uh, it's just that whenever you do damage a boss, you do super jump off automatically to give the boss some room. Uh, Sonic the Trut Woe 1 asks, Can you change the controller settings for the different button layouts? No, you can't. The button layout is set. Um, the only things you can change uh, are the inversion, motion controls, turn them on or off, and then the, the uh, control stick sensitivity. MDude62 asks, Does only being able to play on five maps get boring after a while? What is your opinion on the map rotation for the online multiplayer? Do you think that was a good decision as opposed to letting people just pick the maps? Um, so it's still too early to say for sure. I've put maybe four or five hours into the multiplayer already, and I've been having a blast. So I, right now, the limited amount of maps isn't a concern too much. Um, it might turn into one after I play more, but at this point I'm not too worried. Uh, and the, the map rotation is a little bit weird, but again, so far it's worked out okay. But of course, stay tuned for our upcoming review for more thoughts on that. Uh, Pokemaster2200 asks, How many stages does single player have? So I actually can't talk about anything beyond um, the third world. What I can say is, we know there is one scroll, uh, you know, one of those hidden scrolls per level. And in the direct, it looks like there's 27 scrolls in total. Um, so that might give you some ideas of how many levels there are. Uh, I will mention, though, that there are, is a boss fight per each world. And those don't count as single numbered levels. So there's actually a few more than uh, the amount you might think. DJ Candy 2012 asks, how do you level up? Um, you just level up by playing multiplayer. So, I, you know, the better you do, the more experience points you'll earn and the faster you level up. Um, it took me about three to four hours to reach level 10 uh, in order to unlock the ranked battles. So if you're wondering how long that might take, um, there you go. Ryan Hogue asks, How uh, does the game feel? Are the controls easy, easy to use? Uh, I think the controls are actually really easy to use for the most part. I mean, if you're brand new to shooters, it might be a little bit tricky. But if you play them before, um, I think you'll get it down really quickly. And I think the game feels great. Like, I love the locomotion of the game. It's, it's just fun to move around, and I'll be talking more about that in the review. Uh, yeah, it feels really good, so I think, um, you know, I think you'll enjoy it. I mean, if you played the, uh, Test Fire demo, then you know what to expect. The whole game feels like that, and, uh, I, I think it feels really good. Geek Select asks, do the Amiibo only let you challenge levels you've already beaten or not? So, I haven't tested the Amiibo myself at my house, but I did play it at Nintendo a few, uh, I guess about a month ago now. And, uh, based on what I remember, yeah, you can only play missions you've already played in the single-player mission or in the single player campaign. So yeah, there won't be any amiibo spoilers. You do have to beat it first before you can use the amiibo, if I remember correctly. Elvis Moria 19 asks, how does the game saving, or how does saving the game work? And can you see online people in the plaza? So um, in the plaza, the, the people you encounter are people you've already played with online. So they're not, they're not online uh, actively necessarily, but they are people you played with before. Um, as for how the game saving works, it, it saves basically anytime you do anything. So if you buy equipment, um, once you exit the story, it'll save, like, I think on the loading screen. Uh, same thing with a single player campaign, um, between levels is when it saves as well. So, there you have it. Finally, Joshua asks perhaps the most important question of all time. Team Cat or Team Dog? The world is dying to know. Oh, man. Right now, probably Team Dog. Growing up, though, I was Team Cat, so I, I go between the two. I don't know. I'm, I'm a pacifist when it comes to this war, I guess. <laughs> Alright, guys, that wraps up for our Splatoon Q&A. Hopefully, they answered most of your questions about the game. Uh, but, of course, stay tuned for more Splatoon coming up. We'll have more gameplay videos, our live stream coming up soon, and, of course, our review eventually, plus whatever extra content we decide to make about the game. There'll be tons of stuff coming up. So, thanks for watching. Keep an eye on Gamersplatoon.com for more Splatoon and other things gaming as well. And, of course, please like us on Facebook and Twitter if you haven't already. There are links in the description below. It's a good way to keep up to date on everything we post. All right, guys, catch you later. Bye.